Every minute of every hour, 24 hours a day, year after year, without rest, your heart pumps blood through your body. The rhythm of a normal heart is constant. If, for some reason, this rhythm is changed or interrupted, the heart may no longer be able to pump blood effectively, depriving the body of oxygen and leading to death. The heart is a complex organ divided into four chambers. The upper chambers are atria. The lower chambers are called ventricles. Blood flows from the atria to the ventricles and then to the rest of the body. The contraction of the heart muscle is triggered by an electrical system contained within the heart. In a healthy heart, an electrical impulse comes from a point near the top of the heart called the sinoatrial, or SA node. The impulse travels down to the atrial ventricular, or AV node, near the bottom of the right atrium. From the AV node, the impulse spreads across the ventricles, causing the muscles to contract and force blood out of the heart. The electrical activity of the heart and its rhythm can be measured by a heart monitor that displays an electrocardiogram, or ECG. The peaks and valleys of each wave, their size, shape, and frequency, show the heart's rhythm and how the electrical system is functioning. This ECG shows regular electrical activity, called normal sinus rhythm. A cardiac emergency occurs when the heart does not function properly and blood does not reach the brain and vital organs. The two most common types of cardiac emergency are heart attack and cardiac arrest. A heart attack is caused when arteries or blood vessels in the heart become blocked and the heart muscle is deprived of blood and oxygen. The heart's electrical system may still function, but the heart is unable to pump blood through the body effectively, resulting in a life-threatening condition. A person suffering a heart attack may be fully conscious and alert and may experience pain or other signals of a heart attack. Mom, are you sure you're feeling okay? of the flu, that's all. A heart attack may also lead to cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest occurs when the heart's electrical system malfunctions and the heart rhythm becomes irregular or too fast. Under these conditions, the heart can no longer work as a pump and cannot move blood and oxygen through the body. Megan, call 911 and tell them your mom's unconscious. A person suffering cardiac arrest will become unconscious, stop breathing, and show no other noticeable signs of life. This means that the heart has stopped functioning. One of the most common forms of cardiac arrest occurs when the heart simply quivers without any organized rhythm. This condition is called ventricular fibrillation, or V-fib. In V-fib, the electrical impulses fire at random, creating chaos. The heart is unable to circulate blood, therefore, there is no pulse. When there is no pulse, one way to halt V-fib and restore effective electrical activity is with an electrical shock known as defibrillation. The shock stops the heart for an instant and allows it to reset. When effective, this shock allows the heart to restore effective electrical activity. If a life-threatening abnormal heart rhythm is not corrected, all electrical activity in the heart will eventually stop. No electrical activity in the heart is a condition called asystole. Defibrillation will not correct asystole. Even though there is no electrical activity in the heart, you should still give CPR. Another less common life-threatening condition occurs when the heart beats too fast. This rhythm is called ventricular tachycardia, or VTAC. In VTAC, an abnormal electrical impulse controls the heart originating in the ventricles instead of in the SA node. This abnormal impulse fires so fast that the heart's chambers do not have time to fill. With little or no blood circulating, there may be no pulse. Defibrillation is the best way to stop VTAC as it allows the heart to reset and return to an effective heart rhythm. Although it is rare, 
children may also experience life-threatening heart rhythms. Defibrillation is also effective in children, but take care to use defibrillators that are adapted or designed for a child. They deliver a lower energy shock, considered more appropriate for children.